What's going on guys, welcome back to another video on the Talking Gas podcast. Something that I didn't think I'd be doing right now is doing a reaction to Joey Barton being sacked as Bristol Rovers manager. Of course there's going to be loads of thoughts and opinions from everyone so leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new but yeah, wow. Um, wow. Um, I'm still... You know, it's crazy to hear the news that he's been sacked. Uh, of course, he was with us since February 2021. Of course, came in in the, the COVID season, tried to keep us up, but didn't. Um, you know, we did have an awful team and it was, you know, bad at the time at the club. You know, struggling players. You know, he was our third manager that season. Got relegated with us. Um, you know, struggled early on in League Two. But then, obviously, we went on a brilliant run from January to the end of the season. Got us promoted on the final day, but that's the thing you look at for a lot of people wanting him gone because that's the thing you know a lot of the you know the owners and people at the club would have seen on if they'd have seen on Twitter everyone or most people on Twitter I'd say seventy five percent wanted him gone, and if you look on that you know even though we're seven points off the playoffs, we have had quite a poor start you know a run of three games without a win but. I didn't think it would be done this early. Um, with the games we've got coming up as well, it's especially, you know, I, I didn't think they'd have done it this early. But, yeah, it's happened, you know. But you also got to feature in the, his record in League One with us. You know, if you look at last season, started really poorly, done well up till January. But then since then, you know, I think it's only 10 wins. If I'm not wrong, you know, this is just a video out of nowhere. So I haven't done any... I'm not prepared for this, but our record is so poor. And even you go back to the the COVID season when we're in League One, you know, you factor that in as well. And you know, you look at last season. I, I can't remember the the losses off the top of my head, but it was you know we went on that terrible run after January, and you know ended the season in seventeenth, and now we're sixteenth. And you know, for me personally, I would have given him a bit more time. But, you know, the owners aren't messing about. And like I said, they would have seen people's thoughts on social media. And it's been going around, you know, after, you know, how bad Tuesday was, even though we got the point. And, you know, you look at Burton and then the, the loss to Oxford. But, yeah, you know, and the fact that he, he hasn't really been able to get us consistently winning games. And, of course, he was backed loads in the summer. One of, you know, he's probably one of the most backed Rovers managers, you know, in quite a long while. And... You know, like Shatters and Appers as well, like he said, he sort of gets you thinking positively and says all the right things, but he hasn't he's he hasn't delivered it um on the pitch really and especially consistently. And yeah, you know, sixteenth in the league, like I said, we're seven points off the playoffs. So hopefully now all I want the club to do is make the right um you know, get the right appointment in. You know, don't go rushing into it take your time with it and yeah there's a lot of names out there I've seen Cottrell apparently he's Steve Cottrell the ex Bristol City manager who won them the league in league one and done well at Shrewsbury last season he's been one of the names mentioned you've got John Eustace will he come to league one Gary Rowett will he come back down to league one having been in the championship uh you know since he left Burton Albion I don't know there's quite a few out there even I'd I'd chuck out Nathan Jones Hasn't worked out for him in the Premier League with Southampton. Um, but obviously he was with Luton the first time in League One where they won the league. So he's another one. But we will be dis discussing everything um, at 8pm tonight. So join us live. That should be a very interesting you know, debate with you know all the Rovers fans and Neil included as well. So join us at 8pm for more. We'll go into it more and obviously talk about the game on Saturday and yeah, manager search, etc. So yeah, like I said, if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe and leave all your thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, up the gas.